Hey, it's me, Stacey Mahoy, and I'm here uh, to show you a little bit of an experiment that came to me because of a discussion going on at DiscussFastPitch.com, that's Mark Dijonet's forum. And um, we're talking about obstruction calls, and, you know, I voiced my opinion about the obstruction calls that I've seen being called, and I totally understand, you know, defenders not being allowed in the base path if they don't, the base path if they don't have a play, and they shouldn't be there, and they shouldn't be able to impede the runner in any way. But there are times when I've seen calls made that on obstruction that I just didn't think should be made. Um, people talk about avoiding collisions. Um, people in the discussion had mentioned that you know they would rather take a direct path to the base straight in. That's their opinion on what the best path is to the bag. Because I had mentioned that as a runner, um, I would typically not slide directly into a defender or head straight for a defender um, or go straight to a bag if I see the defender right there ready to make a catch and ready to try to apply a tag on me. I would probably opt to go away from the defender and then reach in to make the play tougher on the defense. So somebody had wrote back, basically the poster said, Stacy, my arm is about two feet long without a glove. And this is at discussfastpitch.com. You can read it in the general discussion forum. It says, Stacy, my arm is about two feet long without a glove. Bases are only 15 inches wide. That means that an average person can stand on the inside of a base path and reach any point well across it for a catch or tag. If you add bending at the waist and leaning, I think you'd be surprised at how much territory you can cover from a position just outside the base path. So, okay, I had to do this experiment because I swear I've seen many girls avoid tags by sliding to the outside and reaching in, you know, because I've kind of done it myself a couple times. So I just wanted to double check and see, you know, kind of what it looked like and, and put on video so that you could see it as well. So basically, one person said they feel the best path is directly into the bag. Why go anywhere else? Um, I agree that that is probably the shortest distance, right, from A to B, direct line. Um, but I don't feel that it's always the best path to choose, especially if uh, there's a defender right there waiting to tag you or getting ready to tag you. And you can tell when you're coming into a bag, when you're coming home and you see that catcher, you can tell if they're getting ready to make a play or not. So this person, that poster said basically that if they're to the inside of the base path, just outside of the base path, that you could, you know, reach quite a ways across in order to make a tag or play. So, what I did here is put a home plate on the ground, and this line actually runs parallel to where the foul line would be. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but without a camera person, <laughs> this is the best I can do. So, as you can see, if I opted to choose my route, which is to run to the outside, slide late, reach on into the bag, you can see here that I have my entire hand on the base while my basically my entire body is outside this line that's running down here, right? So typically I could get a little bit further out. And honestly, to be honest, my arms are not two feet long. If you measure from my fingertip, where can you see? From my fingertip here to my shoulder, right? It's only about 22 inches. So I'm I'm a little bit shorter, smaller than the average person. However, since I'm the demonstrator for the runner, right? Short arm distance. A uh, bigger person could probably get even a little bit further out, a little bit further away from the bag. But I'm also the defender here, so short arm to short arm, it's still all relative. Um, it's not like I'm a short arm person trying to tag a person that has a longer reach. So, basically you could see that my entire body was on the outside of this line while still getting my full hand onto the base. Now, this person was saying that if you can stand, you can stand to the inside of the base path right here. I'm going to put my foot right up here, right against the plate. And they were talking about if you could reach across, you'd be surprised at how far you could reach across, adding the bend at the waist and everything. So even if I'm all the way down here, my foot is actually right here on the corner of the plate, right? I'm all the way down to the lowest point, and I reach across, I'm barely getting to that line, if even getting to the line. I'm not even really getting to the line here. Um, most definitely not getting all the way across the line. Now, if I'm going to catch the ball and reach across and then go like this, then yeah, maybe I can get there. Right? But I'm going to have to actually move position. I'm going to have to catch the ball in here and then move to get all the way over there to tag the runner. Okay, So me, granted I'm a little shorter, but me as a runner over there, I have a little bit shorter arm too. But even if I'm all the way down here, my foot is actually on the bag. I'm not completely clearing the base path as people on the form were suggesting that defenders should have to do. Give that open base path because they don't belong in there. Um, and give that base path to the runner. So I'm right here, right on the edge, and still... As I reach over, okay, I'm not even reaching all the way to the line. And catcher's gloves are really not made to sweep with one hand, you know, like a middle infielder can 
sweep with one hand. Catcher's gloves, typically, they need to catch with two hands and then try to apply a tag, in which case, again, I am kind of quite short of being able to tag that runner. So that's part of why, number one, I don't think it's always the best route to run straight to a bag because that makes the play easier for the defense. They don't have to reach very far to tag you. Number two, um, having to give up the full base path as a defender kind of gives you a disadvantage to, to try to get that out. So, you know, in my opinion, as far as obstruction goes, if you have a play on the ball, if that ball is already coming to you and you're focused on the ball, trying to get the ball, and you catch and you're immediately making a tag, okay, the fact that you're where you're at, really, you, I, I don't think you should be penalized for that. Now, if you're standing there, the ball's not even coming to you, you're in the way of the runner, then, you know, that's a different story. That's definitely obstruction. Um, people talk about this rule being in place for safety issues to avoid collisions. In my experience, from what I've seen, when the ball and the runner are arriving at practically the same spot at almost the same time, a collision is probably going to happen regardless of where that defender was placed prior to the ball arriving there. They can be outside the base path, but if that throw takes them into the path of the runner and they're going to need to make a tag, collision is going to happen anyway. Um, I also think that it's a lot easier for the runners to avoid the collision because they're staring right at that defender the whole time. They're running 60 feet to that bag. They're looking at where that defender is. They can choose a route of least resistance. They can choose a route that doesn't take them directly into the defender for the most part. Of course, if the throw comes in the, the last minute, the catcher is moving and, you know, they move into you, you know, that's something that's kind of unavoidable. It's sports. It's going to happen here and there. But I definitely don't think that sliding directly into a defender or directly into the bag when the defender is right there ready to make a tag is always the best idea. I mean, obviously, if you're sliding right here, all they got to do is catch, boom. Catch, boom, you're out. If they got to catch over here and then reach all the way over there to get you, it's a little bit tougher for them to make a play. You're two feet off the, the base. Actually, here, it's less than 22 inches. But if you were to get a, two, a full two feet off the bag, and like I said, my arm is only about 22 inches from here um, to the tip, of my finger. So two feet, taller person might be able to reach two feet, their body being two feet away from the bag, you know, and then they're sliding in with their fingertips glazing the edge of the plate there. Um, they may be able to get closer to two feet, but if you calculate, okay, definitely shortest distance between A to B is straight from bag to bag. But if you were to calculate using a, you know, right angle, right? The line coming down the line straight is one side of the triangle, right? And you got a right angle and you've got, um, instead of coming straight in here to the bag, from the start, you angle slightly out so that you take this out route. That out route is really um, in length as far as a straight measurement from you know one point A to B being direct from base to base and the second point A to maybe C being straight from the base to a point two feet out. That route, yes, it's a little bit longer because it's like the hypotenuse of a triangle, but it's only, if you figure it out mathematically, it's only about 0.4 inches longer so it's less than half an inch longer and on a tag play that's really small that's minute I mean a half an inch you can get there just as fast as you can get directly at the bag plus you're making the defense reach an additional almost two feet further for you so why not make the play a little bit more difficult and take that out route I really do feel that as a as a runner you can easily avoid major collisions by choosing a different path by taking a look at that defender assessing where she is knowing where the throw is coming from and working away from that make the defense come a little bit farther with their throw make the catcher have to catch the ball and then reach for you um, that not only avoids the collision but it makes the play tougher for the defense it makes the out tougher for them to get and gives you more chance of being safe while not having to slow down while not having to change your path by being able to go hard in one direction um, avoid a collision and give you the best chance of being safe. So those are just my thoughts and um, I'd like to hear from you. Let me know what you think.